Okay, in the first, welcome back. In the first instructional video, I showed you how to connect the eMotion Twist from the eMotion software over to Kima. Um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to take multiple parameters from the eMotion Twist and map it inside of Kima to a uh, to controlling sound. So, I'm going to in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using the Y information the pitch control and the X information, so the roll um, that's happening. And uh, I'm going to be, ma I've mapped it or processed uh, so that this is positive one, this is negative one for the Y information. And I didn't have to do anything to the X information, but uh, rolling to my left is negative one and rolling to my right is positive one. So that's just that quick mapping. Um, again, to get it coming over to Kima, I have to go to my DSP status window, configure OSC, I have to make sure an Ethernet cable is plugged in uh, from my computer to my PACA or PACA RANA. Uh, my IP address, copy that over and plug it into the Emotion Fuse main window. Port 8000 defaults to 8000 for Kima. So in my data driven workstation, um, I've basically created two tracks. I can create new tracks. I've got all this slew of information. I'm just interested in this example in X and Y. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that last track. Net raw gives me the OSC messages that I want, uh, which is basically just the straight uh, message, which is defined in my rescale window OSC twist Y, which has been mapped negative one, rescaled, I should say, negative one to positive one to 0 and 1, my rescaling being on, and then for my X information rolling, negative 1, positive 1, output 0, 1, my message is twist X. And we can see that right here again. Um, in Kima, in this example, I'm mapping it to a sound of global controller. I'm bringing it in in a sound of control global controller, OSC underscore twist Y, and OSC underscore twist X. And I've mapped this event, this hot value, to multiple places inside of my sound object, or my sound, I should say. And we're going to go ahead and play this. So it's going to be a 2D fader, my X and Y as an aggregate fader inside of Kima. So here we go. X information. Y information. That's it. So just taking a 2D fader, making an aggregate inside of Kima, and we have multi-perimeter control, and it's really responsive um, from eMotion Twist, OVC controlling in Kima. Thanks very much.